Yo, what is good, my anime great? Shaman King was pretty awesome this week. I expect to see a lot of people questioning the choices towards the end of it, though, of this week's episode alone, because to see the Shaman King not gain this spirit kind of frustrates me, and I have a good feeling that maybe the old man might stick around, but hopefully not. He's he lived a life of 96, and I'm pretty sure he was already in the afterlife, and On still summoned him, so, and she summoned him in a place where he probably didn't die, so she's way more broken uh, than our Shaman King as of right now, because imagine if that samurai was chilling at that tree, and she could just summon him without needing to meet him, be near him, any of that stuff, just call upon him, and then put him inside of the body that he needs to be in. That is be that is just super broken, in my opinion. Um, my throat has not fully recovered. I'm trying to slowly talk and get this info out to y'all, and get some videos out to y'all, so please, please, um, if you are going to unsubscribe, if you are going to stop following, that's totally fine, because regardless of that, I will still be dropping videos nonetheless, because this is what I enjoy to do. Even if I get bumps down the road, I am still going to try my damnedest to post on this channel. So, you can leave... But sooner or later, you're probably going to see me posting again, and maybe you'll come back, or maybe you won't. Regardless, I don't post for the views, I don't post for the subscriptions. Hence why I don't tell you to subscribe in any of my videos. I don't tell you to like any of my videos, because if you do like what I'm doing, you're going to do that. I don't need to teach people to do that, and that's why I truly like my community. Because you're just people that want to see me grow. You're the people that want to see me say what I have to say. And this week's episode really made me hate the 13-year-old waifu of our main character. But at the same time, somehow they, <laughs> they made me like her towards the end. So that's always a good, pleasant thing because I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing her a lot. And if not a lot... At least more than the the guy with the wooden sword, probably. I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. We have 52 episodes of this whole entire anime. And I honestly think it's moving at a pretty quick pace. We've already met three different types of spirits. And one was a undead corpse. Who could have been a spirit. Joined up with the boy. But because he supposedly couldn't perfect his stuff in the boy's body while he's possessing him, he'd rather do it in a corpse that's going to live for eternity and just not work with the talisman on. I don't know if I agree with that, right? Like, you were taken away, you are killed by these people, and just because you have a corpse that you can supposedly train in, you're okay with it all, so it's very, very, um, uh, straight to the point and quick, but I think this is the other thing that really kind of frustrated me with this week's episode, is just how many pipes are laying around in this whole entire place, right, like, there's a pipe, anytime he needs to get in a fight, he's just like, oh, you want to fight me? Pipe, you know, so... That's kind of getting old and played out. But overall, regardless, he just needs to keep a sword with him. You have a samurai. Have a sword on you, right? Like, even if you don't unsheath it, have a sword on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But overall, thank you all for your kind words from my voices on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, in IG, I haven't even told people on Twitter because Twitter people don't really care. Um, they don't check anything that I talk about that's why I like IG so much is there's a lot of people on there that actually care about my well-being and that's a, another reason why I didn't post as much as I probably could have 
So thank you all so much, and I hope you have an amazing day.